Hello everybody, my name is Mark Hanchett, founder and CEO here at Atlas Motor Vehicles. I'm DeMarco Kaysen, manufacturing engineer, uh, responsible for battery cell manufacturing. And today we're going to answer some of your Q&A questions after the last video that we released. I think I'll, I'll steal the first one here. Uh, who are you selling these batteries to? What companies have already placed orders? Uh, that's a fantastic question. So Atlas initially is going to be focused on smaller volume niche manufacturers, uh, organizations and companies that need maybe roughly 10,000, 20,000 packs per year. That's our primary focus today. The ones that are typically forgotten by the higher volume manufacturers. That will allow us to go from one cell today to tens of thousands of packs or millions of cells next year, which is one of our goals that we have. And then to answer the second half of that question, we are actually signing agreements today uh, with different manufacturers or different organizations, companies, and partners that are interested in thousands of packs uh, to be produced next year. So we, within one week, we've actually generated a tremendous amount of interest, and you can look forward to seeing some announcements on that over the next couple of weeks. So we're really excited about that. So we'll grab good. the next one. Sure. Next question. What would be the kilowatt hour and voltage for the 500 mile battery pack? Mark, would you like to answer that one? Yep, I can answer that one too. So uh, the largest 500 mile range battery pack will be 250 kilowatt hours of usable capacity. And then the peak voltage will be a little bit less, but approximately 1,500 volts. So grab the next one here. This looks like a long one. Uh, this is a good one. How do we plan on scaling manufacturing uh, from say one cell or, or four, five, and six cells today to the millions of cells that we talked about the other day. What's our plan to actually grow that capability uh, within the facility here? Absolutely, I'll take that question. So as you know, we have our small scale uh, dry room that we're working out of right now. So in that dry room, we're able to build a, a small volumes of cells. We want to understand uh, what the Atlas process is going to look like. And we also want to understand what uh, environment we need in order to build these uh, AMV cells. So with that data, we're able to work with our main, uh, equipment manufacturers, uh, supplying them that information based on the uh, capacity that we want to reach. Um, so behind me, we plan to scale this, this facility into a large cell manufacturing uh, facility. So we will have a much bigger dry room. If not, the entire room will be uh, a, a dry room configuration where we'll have our mixing equipment, calendaring, and then our automated cell process. So with this data, we can understand how long it takes to build one AMV cell and go from that one cell to millions that we're looking at uh, starting in 2022. That's gonna be a cool process. I yeah. can't wait to see that happen. Absolutely. All right, Let's see, do you wanna take this one? Sure. Okay. All right. So how does this have thermal value? Are you saying the car would start in Arizona or in Alberta, the same? If so, clarify how. Can Mark, would you one? like to answer that? All right. Uh, so the, the main focus, one of the key sort of technology solutions that Atlas brings to the table is in thermal management of the cell itself. And then, of course, we apply that even further into the pack design. Right. So the battery cell, uh, some of the intellectual property that we have and some of the things we've done is really around not just heat extraction, but also insertion of heat into the cell or insertion of energy into the cell, which is a key thing for charging quickly. Um, so the cell itself is actually designed to be very thermally efficient and then we implement changes within the pack to heat the cells or cool the cells depending on where it's at whether it's here in Arizona where it's 117 degrees today or Alberta Canada in the middle of winter where it could be below 40 degrees Celsius um, and I went from Fahrenheit to Celsius and I apologize for that someone will do the math for that later um, now by the way negative 40 Fahrenheit and Celsius are the same too so we're okay but uh, so to answer the question plainly though, yes, uh, our objective is consistent performance, whether it is Arizona in the summer or Canadian winters, or maybe something that's much colder than that, or something that fits in between. Consistency is going to be key for us. Absolutely. All right. Do we got any more in here? I think we got two more on the bottom. All right. I'm All right. Are you producing packs or just cells and how many cells go into the XT? You want to take that one? Sure. Yeah. So uh, we're starting out, uh, manufacturing cells, those cells will then go into our packs. So it depends on the type of vehicle that you choose to buy from Atlas. So whether that being a 300 mile pack that might uh, average uh, between 12 and 1300 cells or that 500 uh, mile pack that might average anywhere from 17 to 1800 cells. Okay, 
Fantastic. Yeah. Alright, last the question one. here. Are you considering uh, the use of solid state batteries in the near future? That's so, a good one. A good so the, question. I think the answer is Atlas is always looking at the future of where chemistry is going and where the technology is going. We are looking at solid state chemistries. We're also looking at other alternative chemistries that exist out there. We don't know which one's going to take the lead, which one we're going to move to next, but we're definitely looking at those. In fact, Absolutely. we've already started development work on yes. sort of what the next generation is going to be, and we'll continue to move forward. But for the next couple of years, we'll be focused on what we have today bringing value to customers immediately within the next six months and then 12 months and 24 months. And then we'll transition to what that new chemistry looks like after that. Mm -hmm. I think what's really cool about what we're doing on the cell design is we're chemistry agnostic. Mm -hmm. We could do this with LCA, we could do right. it with NMC, we could do it with yep. LFP chemistries. It really doesn't matter. We get some of the same benefits and we can adjust that for energy density, maybe Absolutely. cost yep. in manufacturing, maybe it's performance whatever that happens to be. And when we get to solid state chemistries, if that's a possibility and if it's viable, we actually, and this is more my personal sort of technical belief of looking into the technology, I think we've got a pretty good shot of I making so. solid state possible, but it's gonna take a few years to get there. Absolutely. Yeah, so Fantastic. Is, that, is that all our questions today? That's all the questions. Hey, thanks for tuning in with us this week. Thank you. All right.